What's up guys, this is Astronox. In this video, I'm gonna be showcasing Ragnarok Tactics. So I've been playing this game for like a month. And this current account, I've been playing it for, I'm on server 60, by the way. There's multiple servers and I'm a free to play player. I've been playing this, we can see here an event, daily attendance. You know, it's been 24 days. I've uh, been logging on this server. Maybe there was a few days where I was actually testing things out. So in these types of game, this is an idle game, uh, a gacha game. And I like to test the water. I like to check the heroes out, check their skills, see how to uh, like progress fast and uh, like kind of be in the top to get a bunch of rewards. So I'm just gonna clear these things. A bunch of events that's been that have been running. I'll go over all this stuff in a second. So there's a gacha system here in the hatch lab, and uh, this gacha here you can obtain any of the hero in the game. There's no like limited banner in this game. Uh, pick up uh, gacha. That's like every every like two we weeks or two weeks they have uh, these things. So now you can get. Randall and Orc Hero. Orc Hero, he seems to be like a top tier tank and I definitely want to try to get him. So in this game, you need multiple copies of heroes to actually power them up to higher star levels. But there's a way to get multiple copies uh, when you just got one. And the way to do this is using the uh, friendship, like the, the love system or whatever, the love connection system. And basically, you give food to certain heroes, leveling them to uh, level 25. And after that, you're able to get some shards. Initially, you're getting a bunch of them, a bunch of shards, and then every day you get one. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you exactly like how that all works. Because uh, when I play these types of games, it's unfortunate if you need multiple copies of the same hero. If the only way to get them is through the gacha system as a free-to-play player, it's not going to work out. And uh, just before I start all this, I'll show you my progression. Like on this server, you know, uh, I'm uh, against uh, players that spend money. And I'm rank 8 here for uh, total CP, that's combat power. And, uh, you know, that's, that's my roster. I'll show you more in depth, like uh, how the stats work, the equipment, the gems, um, all these things. So... Uh, yeah, this is my main guy, Dark Lord. There was a rate of banner for him. He seems to be one of the most popular hero. Uh, well, initially, now it seems to be changing uh, kind of bit. The Dark Lord is a like a really solid damage dealer. Does some crazy AOE. Very, very powerful. This hero, uh, Katrin, like she does some insane burst damage. I'm trying to. <clears throat> like build her to be like kind of my my main hero but here in best team uh cp that's basically because when you go in a battle you use five heroes that's like my best team cp and i'm rank 14 here because that's on a server right if it was like globally everyone at the same spot then it wouldn't be so fun because some players started before so i kind of like that that's a pro uh like you know there's pros and cons i would say that's a pro when it comes to like joining a, a game and you just hop on one of the new servers and you can have your fun you can practice have a few practice runs and then you uh you start on a brand new server and maybe you get lucky with the gacha and you get the hero that you wanted and then you kind of pull all your resources into that hero and it works out really good for you so rank 14 here our guild right now it's not my guild uh, we're rank seven we've been uh, ditching some inactives uh, i might try to uh join the rank one guild but they're currently full because you can use some of the guild members uh like teams uh to uh, do some special type of like uh, tower twice a week i believe to get a lot of like gems to power up your hero uh here in adventure i'm rank seven hmm so I've been every day using that uh, that currency, uh, their gold pourings, because this is a Ragnarok game, and uh, I've been like speeding up uh, my, because you can get instant like two hour usage of resources. 
Uh, in the arena, it's it's kind of easy to snipe players. Unfortunately, in the arena, there's no like crazy defense setups just yet. I don't know if we can get a solid solid defense that is hard to counter, to be honest. But it's about basically sniping players uh, just before the server, uh, the the arena like uh, closes. The arena resets basically when it's a new day for the arena. You kind of try to ha hit the higher rank to get the better rewards. But I try to hit like top 10, but most of the time top 20 because you get sniped at the last second. It's kind of unfortunate. But yeah, here that's the tower. I'm rank 18 because unfortunately this is capped with your roster's levels. Uh, here, Summoner Duel. This is actually a pretty cool feature. Like this is an idle gacha game, but you can do uh, you can do like player versus player type of deal using your heroes, using their power. And there's some strategy involved. Uh, they gotta kill your base. It's really cool. I'll just show you real quick in a second. But here I'm rank seven. Uh, trying to stay uh, higher uh, rating, higher rank so I can get better rewards at the end of the week. So just to show you guys, like, I'm not like a noob. Uh, I'm a free-to-play player and I've been doing good in this game. So, uh, I mean, I've been enjoying my time with uh, this game and I'm not uh, I'm not done yet. And uh, I try to reroll multiple times on new server to try different new combination because this, this is all the heroes in the game. All these are heroes in the game. And you kind of want to get the double S heroes, uh, like a double S hero, you know. These heroes are definitely the better ones. Uh, that's the higher you can obtain, double S. The rate is quite low, that's why. Like you can start on a new server. Uh, you could try like new accounts, bind to like your different email accounts, use a guest account and then bind if you get lucky type of deal like that. Maybe uh, you want to roll multiple in uh, instances in uh, your emulator or maybe you have multiple phones. Uh, when there was a new server, I use like uh, my main phone. Sometimes I use uh, two phones to just like try to uh, roll a good account. I You take maybe two minutes, three minutes, you get some like rewards at the start in your mailbox, you can roll uh, 10 times. If you don't get a double S, I just ditch the account and start again. That's basically how I've been re-rolling. I bind to an email, I just hop on the new server and keep on doing that until like I get one that has a double S that I like. So these are all double S, just showing you real quick. Uh, and then I can talk more in depth about some of the heroes. Orc hero is one of the featured one and Defense with a shield uh, and becomes invulnerable for 3 seconds. Recover 5% HP of total HP every second for 5 seconds. 21 second cooldown. Uh, I'll show you the battle as well. The battling. Uh, he's a solid hero. Uh, trigger condition. Death can be triggered only one time in a battle. And he recovers HP. Uh, I'm seeing him as the top like tank, right? But Randall is also featured in there. And that, that she, I mean, it's a she, I believe. She's very powerful. All these are uh, double S. I like to use a ranged hero. So Dark Lord was definitely very strong to start off with. I actually got uh, like two copies early on. So this allowed me to uh, power him up quite fast. But I didn't know about the friendship system, like the love connection system and all that. You're able to get an extra copy uh, like on the third day after you get that... Uh, that friendship to level 25 which is really cool so you want to stick to double s but even in the s rank there are some heroes that you can use like yeah that one that's the better one the dark illusion that's like it's like the dark lord the the s rank of the dark lord but it's different instead of a big aoe for his uh, main skill that consumes uh it's like energy whatever i don't even know what it's called uh it's an, a smaller aoe I like Dark Lord because it's a massive fire rain. So, yeah, that, I'm just going to get back to that real quick. Let's just show you guys. I'm going to do a, in my friends, you can join them to try to get some uh, some currency. So, free play here. You can do that. Uh, reward for defeating 140 gold pourings. He's at 74% HP. I know I'm not going to be killing that uh, that boss. He's actually quite powerful. Right now, the music that's playing is... Uh, <clears throat> 
just uh, it, you can see it in the description uh, if you like a song in there. It's not the game sound, just in case they block me on YouTube. I don't know if there's going to be a copyright strike for that music that's part of the game. I'm not going to take any chance, but yeah. Okay, so that's my team. I got that, that bear, in the, the, the blue bear in front. That's like my tank. And I got four damage dealers in the back. Uh, three Dark Lords plus that uh, Katrin uh, hero. So Dark Lord, you see like that's... It, the game slows down when you want to cast an AoE skill like that. So that that's a massive AoE, you know. My bear is already dead. Katrin, she does a single target attack. And it's a lot of burst. It's not a crit, but it's over 100,000 damage. Uh, I built her differently, not with crit chance, but with uh, magic defense penetration. Uh, Dark Lord is built for crit crit damage. Uh, you can have auto skill usage. Uh, you got speed 1, speed 2. Uh, at the bottom left, you've got like your energy. That's how you cast your skills. But I got destroyed, right? Because the earlier bosses are easier to kill. Now you have the damage breakdown, which is important to uh, like try to min-max, try to figure out which heroes are doing good and stuff like that. And uh, you can get some... That's uh, Zenny's is like some gold, right? You can just uh, use that to power up your heroes. Uh, so yeah, the quick battle. So you can just hop between your friends. Uh, you can help for... Uh, for like using sword, a, one sword, or you can do a free play once the fir first time. Sometimes you can snipe a kill, you can get some gold pouring. You can do this, I believe, it's more than five times. It's something like eight to ten, ten times per day maximum. After that, you cannot get the gold pourings anymore. You're just going to get like a thousand zenny. Now you know that you, don't, you cannot do more in one day. Uh, friend treasure, uh, you can explore here. You got a boss and then you do some more exploration. Uh, you hit a chest. First, you hit a chest, and then you get a boss. You kill the boss, you get some gold pouring, you get some extra reward, and then you hit a chest the next time. You explore, and then after that's the second boss. As soon as you hit the second boss, you got a 12-hour uh, cooldown. So as long as you start that cooldown before you go to sleep or whatever, you're good. So here, the number one on the server, uh, Tamja, he attacked uh, that boss. Maybe he only did it once, and he did like a ton of damage. Uh, so yeah. I could try to kill the, that boss to, uh, let's say it's the first boss in the, what's it called? Because you got two boss. So if you're about to, let's say, sleep and you're only on the first boss, you kind of want to use your attacks to like defeat it. And then you can reach the second one. So you start that 12 hour cooldown so you can get those uh, gold pourings. So th there's that. And... Uh, you got the shop here. You know, I never bought anything. I'm a free-to-play player. I didn't buy any monthly cards, Supreme card. They have that, like, I don't know. They, they, they don't really have a VIP system, you know? They have this Supreme VIP, but I, I, I try to stay far away from VIP games. That, but they have the, these, like, monthly type of deal cards. And I believe this is when you activate both. And the boost is not big. Like, 720 gold pourings instantly, right? And then, okay, here's the privilege. You don't actually get much out of these things. It's definitely not so much. 120 gold pourings per day is not a big deal at all. At all. You do your dailies. Uh, you do your arena. Try to uh, snipe a high rank. You got your summoner duel. That's the thing that, you know... Uh, you try to do 20 battles there against other players. It's real time. And uh, it's cross server in your cluster. Like it's a cluster of 10 per 10 server basically. I'm in the last server in our cluster. So I'm a bit behind. But they were opening servers quick. So not really far that much. I'm in da uh, Diamond 1. And that's uh, the second to last bracket. And I'm getting like... 750 gold pouring at the end of the week uh, these things to uh, buy uh, stuff in the arena shop these things are for the love uh, connection so how to show you guys this stuff without uh taking forever first things first right uh the arena i mean you just refresh it's like classic uh idol uh, battling type of deal here let's try to attack this player it's easy because the AI is too slow to use spells. So you can attack someone with higher CP. So basically you want to turn off your auto. 
because you want to like do your skills yourself you can even turn off the speed like to just have one x and then look you it's slow down so you can try to hit as many heroes as possible position your spell as best as possible and that hero has a lot of crit chance so you see i hit everyone the dark lords are really good and i have three of them uh the first one i got him to star eight star number eight so I needed uh, a total of uh, himself initially plus two extra copies to do that. But to be honest, just with two copies, you are good for a really long time. You don't. I didn't even need to do that. That uh, that star number eight, star seven was plenty, and with only two copies, you can do it. To go from star four to star five up to seven, you you need a second copy. So. The way to do it, right? Right now you can see that's my, my monsters that I built. <clears throat> that's my Dark Lord. He's a uh, star eight. So he got uh, five gold, two, uh, three red. So that's uh, star eight. You can see for the next time I need another one. But you don't need to rush that stuff. All the other materials take so long to obtain. These A rank ones, they they're take a while to get. Evolve preview. So star two, three, four. And then you hit five with the second copy, you get super evolve, uh, look changes, uh, heart of fire. You, you, you see, it's not that big of a deal. It was a boost of uh, 5%, 10% there. Nothing insane. Then you see what is getting increased. Your stats are increasing when you level your hero. But, you know, star, star eight, I mean, uh, three red was definitely not that big of a deal some more damage better uh, chance to stun some more damage but it's nothing that is required and to be honest like she was almost doing as much damage as him when she was a four star because not as much but she was doing like three quarter of his damage because i had her built properly and you don't get much out of your levels. She just needs one more level. I actually uh, brought her from uh, four star to uh, to six star very recently. Now I need more of these uh, green things. Uh, I, I forgot what they're called. I can monster souls, I believe. So I need more of those. I can get those from the shop. There's various ways to obtain more. Now I need an extra copy. I don't. I'm not gonna bother with that. I'm not gonna bother with that. What I'd like to do is potentially uh, get an extra Dark Lord and uh, <clears throat> save that other one or put one into the other one, depending on how my roster is going to be. Um, you can dismantle monsters to get your resources back. But if you fed a uh, duplicate into uh, the same hero to do a five star up, then you're not going to get the extra copy from what I understand. I've never done it. Actually, I did it. I did it with uh, lower rank heroes and you don't get that back, unfortunately. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's too much information to really get into details. Let's uh, let's just do gacha here summoning. <clears throat> Orc hero or Randall, definitely. Uh, Orc hero is better. Randall is definitely usable though. <clears throat> um, yeah, Randall is light. Orc hero is, uh, what is it? He's a uh, rock. Because they have rock, paper, scissor. And then they have <clears throat> like a white and black hand. It's like means a uh, light element and uh, like dark element. <clears throat> so I'm going to uh, roll here. Details, you know, you have a higher chance. The gacha rate is here. It's 2% uh, to get double S monster. So it's definitely low but that's why i tell you like if you roll a new account you get double s you you're gonna get that second copy uh very fast with the friendship uh system <clears throat> so i'm gonna do that and then show you the friendship system so let's see here will i get lucky now, i'm not gonna skip just to show you guys the animation okay let's see it up let's see what i get Okay, A rank, I, I want S or higher. Double S is definitely like, damn, I did it, you know. Uh, A rank is useful for promoting. That's a paper, uh, paper faction, so that's good. I need those, though. SP, you need those for higher evolve. Uh, evolve. 
so far nothing good the s rank i just sell them to get like some uh some dust or whatever uh, you can uh, like buy whatever i want in the faction that i want for promotion later on okay another s that's good so here that was one of the worst ones i've done uh to be honest like normally i get a few like just s so i can just dust those and get uh, get that currency to uh power up my roster you know so that wasn't good but let's uh right now there's an event because there's different events there was an event that just ended i could i got some like food boxes an insane amount allowing me to get my friendship with many heroes to 25 and i still have some food left um <clears throat> so right now there's a goblin treasure master event consume goblin treasure keys so i'm gonna get some more of these uh summon ticket by consuming those so i'm gonna go in my guild guild event it's not my guild but it's the one i'm in goblin treasure so gems are a way to power up your hero uh greatly right now the hot gems are the red ones so uh the crit chance is definitely the go-to one so the key allow you to jump to box four. Oh, i got a uh, nice that's uh you can check history here eternal that's good that's the highest rank so i'm just gonna jump to the four chest wait that's another one damn that i i am i got lucky because the best one is the premium chest not the silver uh keys but i'm just doing this because i gotta get some more summon tickets but it's good that i had some saved up so cool okay oh wow really this like never happened i got like super lucky there my god okay that's usually how it goes you just get those the the purple color uh the the grade before the eternal one i'm just gonna keep on using these keys no you see this purple oh my the luck is real what how how i'm getting so lucky well it's because i'm recording that's why what i'm recording that's what happens oh my god so good nah not that time okay i'm done with the keys i'm gonna show you a premium chest that's the best i mean you can't compare those silver keys to the premium chest Ch premium chest allows you to get an eternal one eternal guarantee but i got sometimes i get two out of the, that 10 pull you know or sometimes i even got three in one pull that was insane insane let's see one right now because you're gonna get what is the hot thing right now but out of these uh, three the the first one is like physical attack the second one's magic attack the third one is crit chance crit chance is what pretty much everyone's using but i was trying a build that someone was using on server number one it was uh magic attack on a caster and i was using some uh, magic defense reduction uh for the uh, like that white gem and the yellow gem and it doesn't seem to work to work that good in pvp yes it's reliable but i don't know in pve it seems to go the best is like crit chance and crit damage stacking for pure damage it looks like but yeah <clears throat> let's do another premium you see one only but you get all of these other gems and you can sacrifice them to get some currency to power up your main stuff which is really good oh two on that one nice nice see equip gem here before i go and do some more gacha pulls look at that man i got a lot of eternal ones this is six star one red is six star and my my stuff that i'm working on is crit chance so what i need to do is i want to get that one from a four star to i'm gonna refine that up refine is like guarantee increase in stats you need three of the same color at that point initially uh, one star and two is one uh, when you refine you only need one and then uh three four you need two and then five six you need three of the same color which starts to become a bit crazy but the power increase is like guaranteed so can't complain there refine got my crit chance up two percent which is very nice and i'm gonna do it again here you know i'm not gonna worry about the these ones this for like a tank when you want to increase your health and your crit chance let's say but it's mostly the health 
I'm gonna keep a crit chance that the one that's powered up. So I'm gonna use that. So another 2% uh, crit chance increase just right there. So now I need four. Uh, I'm gonna calm down here because I'm a free to play player. So yeah, uh, let's look at my monster here. That's what I have right now. 24.6% <clears throat> crit on each. This thing has 54.7% crit damage. And this thing is a mix, 8.6% crit and 19% crit damage. So that's the crit crit damage setup. That's how you run it. And when you build uh, your gems to all of them to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, every five level, you get a gem master level that increases your stats. <clears throat> Just so I, I give you guys a, like a breakdown of how things go. And this is like my breakdown for all my, my stats. Crit chance has 62.7% and 273.7% crit damage. I mean, it's good considering he attacks quite fast. And also uh, his AoE skill uh, lands some like fire brimstone like pretty fast. The delay between attacks is, is quick. So uh, <clears throat> it's not a one, one trick pony hero. He doesn't like burst in one shot. So basically uh, it's good if you don't, it's okay if you don't have 100% crit chance. If you don't have some crazy crit chance. So that's good. But that hero man. When, he, when that hero attacks, it's one skill. It's one attack. 370% magic attack plus 1200. Uh, that's it. You have a chance to attack a, a second and even maybe a, a third attack. Small chance when that happens at some crazy burst. But it's about making sure you're going to deal as much damage as possible. So I'm trying her out with M, you see M def reduction, magic defense reduction. Uh, I don't have crit chance. It's building her magic attack up plus magic defense. So you see her. Her star on the gem are not so high. But uh, yeah. <clears throat> now, okay, let's just power that up. Because, man, I've been waiting for that one for a while. You see, I only need two on that. Um, let's just use some of the less uh, used ones. So that's going to be it for this one. I'm just going to show you some gameplay now. Man, I waited a while. Uh, pulling, pulling, pulling. I have a lot of gold pourings I've been saving, but actually, let's go in the event, get those summoning tickets. Here we go. <clears throat> so, for the duration of this event, I think I can get 25 done for sure. Uh, I don't know about the 50 one, that's pretty rough. But players that spend money, this equipment grade 21 is not a big deal because in adventure you'll eventually get to that point. It's no big deal. But that hero, man, the orc hero is here. You get him guaranteed, but that's 210 keys. Forget that as free to, free to play unless you've been saving for a long time. So, summoning. Let's see. Pick up. <sighs> orc hero. Randall, I've played with, uh, with her on other uh, servers. Uh, solid, she actually reduced defense and magic defense by 50% of the target for like 5 seconds when you use her skill. My throat is drying up. Okay, let's start this summoning while I drink some water. <clears throat> Come on, baby. Give me something good. You can get the other uh, double S here, it's just you have a higher chance to get the featured ones. <clears throat> Don't care about BA. Or A. <clears throat> it's really about S plus. S or double S. <clears throat> well, I have more chances. I still have some currency. Okay, some some dust here. More dust, okay. Okay, more dust. But it's about double S, baby. 2% chance. It's low. It's super low. I'm, I'm going to be using some currency, man. 3,000 now because I just did some of the event thing that I picked up. Let's do here normally i don't that's not the best you go in the shop right and you buy those uh, summon tickets for 210 gold pourings instead of 250 you just accumulate those that's the way to go uh the two items on the left uh like the key and the talent fruit these are the two slots that give you some of the monster spirit for uh for zennies for gold like not gold pourings the zennies are like like easy to get uh, that's the two slots you have to watch out for. You could do some refreshing early game when you go on a new server if you want to progress faster. But after that, you got to chill on that. You don't want to refresh for uh, gold pourings because uh, you need to save those for summoning. And for you can get that uh, premium chest uh, on a discount price, like 20% cheaper, something like that, or 15% cheaper. You can buy that from the store. 
Uh, not worth refreshing for it, but it's good to pick it up if you have the Zinni saved up. The gold pourings, I mean. So, let's go Hatch Lab. Let's do it another time. Oh my god. Ugh. Gold pourings, you get those at a decent rate, man. To be honest, as a free-to-play player, you're still, uh, like, well rewarded. Come on, man. Give me that double S. It's hard to get, but when you got it, you're set. You're set. I'm gonna go down and break that uh, friendship system uh, for you guys. I got a few S. Uh, I mean, that that's definitely a pretty solid one. I can dust four of those S and get... Uh, like here, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm not sure if I can. Uh, okay, I go dismantle. Let me try to press that without stopping the recording. My God. Okay. <clears throat> so what I do is just you see, I acquired those are called. What are they even called? I don't know. But I'm just gonna get to the ditching here part. <clears throat> I keep the other ones. I need those for promotion. Okay. I got a lot here. That's good. <clears throat> 3,600. So now with that, I can go in the store and I go in the uh, monster uh, tab. And here, if I need the lower grade ones, let's say I, I need the faction Scissor. Uh, the Dark Lord is Scissor. Uh, so I need some A, uh, a rank eggs, you know. Uh, so yeah, I would buy those. And it's 600 a pop, and uh, you can get enough for promoting to whatever. And it works for the, all the factions like that. Black and white is 50% uh, more expensive, unfortunately, and they are capped. Uh, one per week for white. I'm going to grab that one because before the week ends. Because white is what I'm working on because that monster right here, Kat, like Katrin, yeah, she, she's really solid, uh, especially in PvP. Uh... For not the arena, I'm talking about that special battle mode I'm going to show you. And I have this hero called uh, Magalita. I like that skill. Reduce 50% cooldown time of all allies active skill. Increase MP recovery speed for 155%. Last 8 seconds, 45 second cooldown. You're able to just use the rest of your hero's skills more often. And you have MP recovery, which is, that's it. That's what it's called. That, that currency that you need to use. Uh, to actually summon your skills, They're, it's MP basically. So you recover faster while lowering your cooldowns. That's a solid hero. And the really cool thing is when she dies, she recovers the team's HP. And it's based on 60% of her uh, own max HP, plus a portion based on her magic attack and uh, 7,000 that is fixed. But 60% of her max HP is definitely the key here. You stack a bunch of HP on her, and man, she heals a lot when she rips. And she already used the skill, which is huge. So she pretty much did her job. Her healing is not so so good. Anyways, just showing this real quick. Another thing I didn't show is the retinas. Retinas are something to have uh, extra copies of your heroes as like mini tanks. And they deal some damage, just a small portion. They have stats as well that scales based on your hero stat. And there's a lot of them, you know, I've been powering those up. Different qualities, the one that has like a dragon around, that's the leg legendary quality. So I'm free to play it, I've been getting some of those. But the ones that are worth building are the are the epic ones. Because the legendary uh, take too long for free to play to build, well for now. So challenge, uh, dojo challenge. Man, I did it already. Damn, I wanted to show you guys and I can't show you that battle mode. My god, I'm gonna have to make another video. And this is only available for certain hours. Ah, why did I complete that? Anyways, uh, you have one base, a giant, like a pouring, like you saw, see under adventure, that's the hero you have there. Each one has a base. If you kill that base, you win. But you you have some uh, MP that generates over time and you, uh, you summon heroes part of your roster. You can have eight. Here's my lineup. <laughs> And yeah, the ranged heroes are definitely doing good, but you can mix it up, have a tank to soak some damage. Uh, your base can attack like it's like a tower. It's kind of a tower defense. Uh, so yeah, <clears throat> and uh, that Katrin, man, range crazy burst. She just deletes heroes with that skill instantly. 
and I can lower her cooldown with my Galetta, and then I can use my Dark Lords to do some heavy AoE fire rain to uh, hit the base, hit their hero, potentially stun them. It's really cool. I'll showcase it uh, whenever that's up uh, in another video. But I'm enjoying this game. Uh, you know, not doing, uh, not playing it super seriously. I mean, it's idle. You're getting resources automatically. Probably should have showed that before, but here, you're getting these resources automatically. And I'm pretty far into the game now, chapter uh, 29. You know, um, so now I need to hit level 75 to increase that. So I just need to log in, power that up. And I use boost every day. Uh, actually, I need to use that one. <clears throat> I use it almost all. I don't use the 500 one. That's a bit too high. Don't use that one. Uh, as free to play, I'm using up to the 300 one and then I'm stopping. And that, that's how I'm getting progress that much. And it's getting you resources when you boost anyways. So I'm getting, instead of buying those from the shop or whatever, I'm getting some monster spirits, some zenny, uh, some items and uh, the talent fruit. You see these talent fruits, I have way too much. The zennies you always need and the monster spirit another thing every day you know i get in here zenny rush you can get a lot of those early on and you have a crit rate that you can get double or triple if you're lucky so i build that up right can do that 35 times per day i stop when i get close to like 10 remaining because you might hit a bad luck streak and then your crit rate builds up and then you end up not critting for double or triple and then you don't really get you're not that efficient if you do. Oh my god, 5% and I did crit. <clears throat> See, my gold pourings are dropping. I'm at 514 now, so I gotta chill soon. If I hit a crit, that's it. Oh, that's it, I'm stopping now. It's a double, not a triple. But yeah, just building up some zennies every day. So I can go in the shop and actually buy some stuff that shows up here. Um... Yeah, the monster spirit for uh, Zenny's definitely worth getting. The talent fruit, you only need those early game. Talent fruit, you can get those from the tower. Challenge, explore, uh, Giffen Tower. The prime is, it's capped. I can't get in there unless I level up my heroes. So it works with the five highest level heroes in your roster. So the Dark Lords that I have at, the, you know, level 80, four star, these I cannot... Uh, it's just using the higher le level heroes that I have. So uh, that guy, <clears throat> level 180, it's using uh, her Catrin 159. I can actually, I think, do it. No, I need some Monster Spirit. Um, it's using this dude here, uh, this uh, this bear, this Lib All My. It's using <clears throat> this guy, Dark Illusion. So how many? Five heroes. One, two, three. Four, and then the fifth one is like, it could be my griffin here, 140. <clears throat> I have three heroes at 140, so whatever. So five highest level heroes. So you need to uncap to go from four star to five star, and then you can do uh, star five, six, and seven. And then you need an extra copy uh, after that, a third one. The initial one that you're using plus the extra copy, copy brings you to seven, and then... Um, the third one will get you to uh, <clears throat> star 8 unlocked. Okay, so the friendship system, you go into your bag, you get that that food, right? Every four hours it is uh, when you uh, reach like account level 30 or something like that or 40. You start getting those food packages. You see 14 uh, minutes left at the top, right? These contain a lot of stuff. 10 different foods random between qualities. Right now, I have uh, all of these uh, type of qualities. It's green, blue, um, pink, and uh, <clears throat> that's like legendary. So the way it works is you go and connect. Now you see the heart with 25, that I'm, it's maxed out. I cannot feed more because they are, ma they are maxed out. Um, I'm not going to show this one as example. The Dark Lord, right? He's, not, he's a faction uh, that is scissor, a rock, paper, scissor. Those factions are like uh, like the normal factions. The black and white, those are like the hard, like harder to power up factions because here, when you go and you feed them, you have access to the Wonderland after you reach uh, like six. You have 60 uh, friendship, right, every day. So you have to be smart about this. But the first time you clear, you're getting 10 shard here. 
five on the this. Every time you see the face, you're getting 10. The other ones that you don't see the face of the hero, you're getting five. So for a uh, rock, paper, scissor hero, you're getting 10, 10, 10, 10. You're getting 40 plus you got uh, three stages as five. So you're getting a lot, man. You're, you're getting 55 straight off the bat. Uh, it costs six per stage for paper, rock and scissor. So you can do all that first day. And then um, that's 55. So the next day you can do all of this and that's going to be give you three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, is that seven? No, the faces are going to uh, stage like you see here. Easy, difficult, master and hell. That's uh, one shard every day. The, this, the ones you see like normal elite and nightmare will not give you a shard. It will give you just a fruit. It's not worth doing. <clears throat> but you sweep those stages and you're gonna get four. So uh, on the third day, the first day you're getting uh, 55, second day you're getting uh, four, and the third day you're, you're gonna get that one missing. And now you go in your bag and you summon that hero. You go in your bag, you got pieces. See, I would have 60, you synthesize, you got the hero. Now you can uncap that hero from four star to five star, and then you can uh, do it uh, to, uh, I mean, r red star, which is six star, then two red, which is uh, <clears throat> seven star. You can do all that with just the second copy, which you can obtain without relying on the gacha system, which is huge. There was an event. This one here, it's over now. Oh my, it's gone. Uh, you saw it when I was in the game just before. Uh, it was that shop. There was an event that in Adventure, you were getting the, those green crystals every, like, randomly. The chance was pretty high. But I got, like, you saw it at the start of the video, that shop. Um, maybe.